is the man who started it all, the founder and president of the National Skydiving League, Kurt Gable. Kurt, another great competition, and you've got a lot of talent out here today. Yeah, these are after the regular season, the playoffs, and yesterday's qualification rounds. These are the best teams here today and fighting it out for the championship event. And you are my expert commentator on last year's telecast. You know all the teams. Any hints on who's going to win this thing? Well, I want to be careful with that. It looks as if our last year's champion and defender this year here from the land, GD Blue, they have a pretty good shot again at the, the championship this year. But I, I, want, I don't want to say anything we'll see. Another great year for the National Skydiving League, Kurt. Congratulations. Thank you very much. PAH has a tough road to hoe in their second jump of the semifinals against Deland, PD Blue. Here they go. Yes, after the first round, it's going to be virtually impossible for PAH to defeat PD Blue here and to move on into the finals. Sid, it's very windy in free fall, obviously, and the jumper actually lays on the wind, so to speak. If he can keep his balance, he can push off of the wind to make maneuvers, and this is a sensation of flying. But if the jumper gets off balance, the wind will certainly push him or the piece he's attempting to fly around. And this is a sensation of frustration, as seen here. Quick, quick, quick for Deland PD Blue, 13.2, PAH, 24 seconds. Kim, how did your jump go? It was really good. It was a great skydive all until we missed one last grip at the very end. That means we swished by, we didn't catch the legs we were supposed to catch, and so we had to go back and get them, so that cost us a little bit of time. It was a really good skydive except for that. And here they are, the two-time defending champions, Deland PD Blue, fresh off their second jump here in the semifinals. How did it go? It went good. We took a little A standard exit to put us in a better position through the uh, block work, and we think it paid off. Confident you reached the finals? Yes, yeah, very confident. Do you care which team you meet in the finals? We're not sure yet if it's going to be Optic Nerve or Nemesis. Either team's going to be a challenge. Uh, I'm kind of hoping Optic Nerve's going to pull through because they were the underdogs going into the second round. They were down by one second. So I'm hoping we're going to go up against them, plus our coaches on their team, so we'd really like to beat them. <laughs> What's your strategy for the finals? Go hard. Our second semifinal matchup is a tight one. It's Optic Nerve and Nemesis, their second jump of the semis. Here they go. Yeah, this is really going to be a tight one, and both teams know that they have to perform on this. The reason why one of the guys is out of color on Nemesis is because he's an alternate, actually. One of their team members is injured, and that is world champion Joey Jones jumping with them. I'm a little biased here because, well, he's my teammate. Wow, what an incredibly close round. Optic Nerve wins the second jump, but they lose the two-jump total by two-tenths of a second. What made it so rough? What went wrong? Um, we had a little bit of levels. Two people were a little bit higher on one than the other, but um, sometimes that happens. You just have to adapt and go on. Now, how is the wind affecting you up there? Any problems with that? Um, the wind doesn't affect you in free fall. You're actually falling at about 120 miles an hour. Uh, the fact that's windy today is more is on landing and under your parachute than in free fall when we're competing. Hello. Welcome to Pondo's. Pondo's restaurant has had a legendary reputation for fine casual dining in Deland for many years. My family and I are proud as the new owners to continue this tradition. We offer a full bar and banquet facilities. If you haven't been to Pondo's lately, come in and see the changes we've made and what's new on the menu. We are worth the trip from anywhere in Central Florida. So for the ultimate heights and dining pleasure, drop into Pondo's. Dad, I was supposed to fly. Know what? what? We can fly it. Sky Venture. Let's go. Yay! Sky Venture, Orlando's high energy vertical wind tunnel where flying is as easy as one, two, three. Learn the correct body position and hand signals from professional instructors. Suit up in all the gear you need. No parachutes, no jumping, no experience necessary. Soar like a bird on a column of air. Thrills and fun for all ages. Experience Sky Venture today, located International Drive on Visitor Circle across from Wet n Wild. I'm Dr. Joel Sugar in Perry, Florida. Nature Coast Eye Care Institute has a 24,000 square foot facility dedicated to eye care. Nature Coast purchased the first new Visex S3 laser in North Florida and South Georgia. The latest technology from the company whose lasers have performed more successful LASIK procedures worldwide than all other companies combined. I would like to invite you to come to Nature Coast and see why our patients say trust your eyes to Dr. Sugar. Call Nature Coast Eye Care Institute for an appointment today. Welcome back to the final round of the National Scott Evingley Championship. 
with the defending national champs, PD Blue, going up against Nemesis. Here they are, the defending national champs, Deland, PD Blue, getting ready for their first jumps in the finals. Here with me, Shannon Pilcher. What do you expect to do here on your first jump? We expect to win the round. Uh, this, this type of format makes it closer, so we know it's going to be tight within a few seconds, but we think we can take them pretty easy. And what have you guys been working on in our delay between the semifinals and the finals? Anything, any strategy, any changes for the next jump? Nothing special, just get out of the gates fast and then keep it clean. It's our first jump of the finals. The defending national champs, Deland PD Blue, taking on Nemesis from Atlanta, Georgia, and here they go. All right, well, this is the finals, and Nemesis has certainly fought hard to be here. They come out of the door nice. They're on a good pace. PD Blue looks really sharp. PD Blue slightly ahead here. Nemesis is going to have to find some extra time in this dive if they're going to catch him. Wow. Quick, quick, quick for Deland PD Blue, 12.5. For Nemesis, 16.8. Looking at this exit in slow motion, we can see that they have really nice subterminal work, which is, as we said earlier, where a team can buy an awful lot of time. And this team is very good out the door. Here with Ian Bobo from the defending national champs, the Deland PD Blue, that first jump in the final. How did it go? It went really well. We, uh, we came off the plane nice. The key time was real good, and I think our block transitions were good throughout the dive. It was a lot of fun. How difficult were the maneuvers on this first final jump? Uh, there was a lot of individual turns on this particular dive, so it really tested the individual skills of everybody and how well we could bring it all together, and it, it, uh, it worked well for us. It's our final jump of the day here in the finals between Deland, PD Blue, and Nemesis Deland with a 4.3 second lead. Here they go out the door. This is going to be good, but I can't help but stop for a moment and admire the view. That's really pretty out there today. Nemesis going into this with a four-point deficit. This is a fast jump, and... They're doing a really nice job with this, but it's just not going to be enough to pick up the difference. Yes, looking at this in slow motion, we see that although Nemesis has a nice exit, they just couldn't make up the extra time. And Deland PD Blue takes home the championship, their third in a row with a 22.3 cumulative time in the finals, Nemesis with 28.6. Now the National Skydiving League Championship for the year 2000 in the books, and once again, and Deland PD Blue takes home the championship trophy. And Don, certainly a great competition today. It really was. PD Blue came into this the favorites, but you know what? They performed. They were strong. They were solid. They really didn't make many mistakes today, and they earned it. We had a great competition. Don, thanks for your help. You're welcome. Thank you. For Don English, I'm Sid Champagne. Join us next year for Skydive 2001. Goodbye, everybody. Mm -hmm.